I asked you a few weeks ago if you could have one guy to build a team around, who would you pick? And you told me Kevin Durant. And you told me because of his ability to fit into a team scheme, not just be a dominant ISO player, but be somebody whose ego and game can adapt to those around him. But I got to tell you, Legs, something – dating back to at least the Houston series, and certainly in game one here, something's different. He's inefficient. He seems to be shrinking from moments. Something looks different to me. Does it look different to you? It does. It definitely does. And, it, it, you know, you can't make – it's not even a comparison with um, who's played better in the postseason. This is one of the greatest postseason performances start to finish that I've ever seen that LeBron James is putting on right now. So it's not even close between the two players right now. And I agree with you with Kevin Durant. Something is different. He doesn't have that, I don't know, like that that impact. And last year, you go back to the finals, you know, when Kevin Durant left Oklahoma City, he took so much heat for that and so much hatred thrown his way. And they called him, a you know, saying he didn't have any competitiveness and he, he took the easy way out and you name it. And I said at the time, the only thing he can do to shut people up is not only get to the finals of the Warriors, he's got to also be the best player on the floor in that series against LeBron, and he was. And so he answered that bell. He hasn't been the same this postseason that he was a year ago. He just hasn't been. He seems to also have less of a willingness to move, like without the ball. So so a lot of what he's getting is much more ISO heavy, that I feel like, than it was a year ago. And he's got a lot of stuff in the post where he's shooting these turnaround jumpers. Last night, he had a few over George Hill. But in the previous series, he was struggling with that shot against Chris Paul and Eric Gordon and those guys who were getting into his lower body and forcing him off balance. His feet were getting tangled up. You know, I'm like, when did when did Kevin Durant become this back-to-the-basket player? Like, he's doing that more than he ever has, and it's not really his game. So, I agree. He hasn't been – nearly as dominant and as great and as unstoppable as we started to come to expect him to be. Um, and, and as a result, for me last night, I thought Curry was their best player. He looks fresh and energized and bouncing. And I think a lot of it has to do with he's got a, he's got a little bit of a rest in this series defensively. Now, he switched on to LeBron a few times last night that he shouldn't have, and he got taken to the rim. But he's not worried about guarding a Kyrie Irving this year. He's not worried about getting taken behind the woodshed 50 times by James Harden and Chris Paul, like to getting targeted every time down the floor. So he's fresher. He looked quick last night. He looked really good last night. Durant looked similar to what he looked most of the Houston series, which is, yeah, he's got good stat lines and he has moments, but it's not like that wow factor that we're used to with him. Mm -hmm. Good stuff, uh, Legs. I appreciate your time as always, man.